Hey guys, how's it going? Woo! Hello. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been live. Um, so as a title, you can tell, some people are getting scammed. Um, thinking they're buying from me, but they're not. I think it's super awful. And I don't understand why people are doing this. And I don't understand how people are falling for it, but it's okay. So I just want to remind people that I only sell on my website. And let's see. I mean, you can only pay with PayPal. So if I'm asking for cash or money orders, not me. Um, so I don't sell on eBay. I just have my website. So if you've not purchased through my website, you've not purchased with me. And it's unfortunate. Some lady is like harassing me. <laughs> and she's like, I have the bank. <laughs> the, 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 I can show you my bank statements to prove it. And I was like, that's cool. I'm sorry you got scammed. Um, she got $3 for $350 right there. Should be a dead giveaway. You got scammed. Know that when you purchase a doll from me, my dolls are generally right now $595 plus shipping. Um, the low, I think, is like $395 plus shipping. So you would never get um, three dolls from me for $350. Ah, uh, you know. I told her to file her claims with her bank and PayPal, but um, some people just don't seem to get that I am not those people that they're purchasing with. My email is very obvious who you're buying from. Um, I'm located in the United States. Most of these people are offshores. So you just really have to do your research. I'm not looking at the screen, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, hello guys and so like you know do some research i know they're using my photos i know they're using my name but know that you will never get a doll from me fully reborn for less than 595 dollars unless you've got some wicked coupon you know that um i do send those out every now and then through the website just know that that is not, not me. And it's not anybody else. I know, I know I am not the only artist that has this issue. I see it. So just know, you're not getting a full reborn for 150 bucks from most artists unless they've just started out. Um, it takes a lot of common sense when buying, shopping online. It, it blows my mind that people really lack that when it comes to online. They uh, lack common sense all the time. You, you take everybody's word for face value. You don't do your own research for the facts. Uh, you're, you're totally one-sided on everything because you won't research for the facts. And then you're spending your money, your hard-earned money with Things that your gut should be saying, that is too good of a price. So you're spending your hard-earned money on something that I know your gut has to be tugging at you saying you are getting scammed. In Love With Reborn's babies do not sell for that price. Maybe when they're used secondhand, or maybe when I first started, yes. But if you're buying it off of eBay and that person's claiming to be me, it, no, it's not me. And, you know, my website is very specific to me. So, it's a shame. I don't, you know, I mean, I do my best to try to tell you guys. But I really have to let you guys be adults. I mean, if you're on YouTube, you know, I know that you are able to handle being on YouTube. So, you're able to handle shopping. That's my opinion. And... It's a sad story. It really is because you're out money, and I'm over here like, dang, somebody's um, using my name said again. You haven't sold on eBay for over a year now. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't sold on eBay for over a year now. I don't know where she purchased. 
she says my website, and I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know who this, I have this crazy name. Someone said they got um, a born for $60, and they love her, and she was in a scam. That's awesome. So I'm just saying that's not necessarily a scam. What I'm saying is there's well-known artists whose work wouldn't sell for $60. That's what you have to pay attention to. Dude, there's tons of amazing deals on eBay. Freaking even posh. Sometimes people find deals at the Goodwill. Yeah. Um, reborn dolls. Like, sky's the limit on the prices, right? Arrangement, it's all over. But if you have an artist that you know their work is never 50 bucks, you better question it. So, we're putting this on um, Baby Carly Grace. It's a vintage Carter set that, guys, literally, I paid nine, like 45 cents for, actually, because it was 95 cents, and then it was half off. It looks a lot like the one I got you it's for so Christmas. It's so cute. Oh, this yeah. is the one you got me for Christmas. Is it? Yeah, I got another one yeah, at the you, Oh, I was going to say. I did get another one at the thrift you store. You did get another one, but that was like, that one looks a lot this like This one is the one you got me for Christmas. Sorry. <laughs> It's this okay. is the one Jackie got me for Christmas. But, saying, like, but look at that tag. Vintage Carters. So cute. So, um, oh my god, this baby's so pretty. Look at this. It looks, it's an immaculate condition. It is. Little, um, Mother Goose. <clears throat> Man, I do not know my rhymes. <laughs> Three Little Pigs. The, Your nursery rhymes? My nursery rhymes, yeah. The Sheep. Jumping over the fence. <laughs> Who lived in the little old shoe? The little old lady? <laughs> I can't remember. I think that's, what is that, Hansel and Gretel? But they're as food? <laughs> because, oh my god, it makes sense why Hansel and Gretel got eight. Oh! What? You don't know the story of Hansel and Gretel? No. Oh my gosh, they get put in an oven. And cooked what? in the forest. Okay, let's not talk about yeah. that. Yeah. This is scary. <laughs> no, it's a nurse. It's a little kid's book. I know, but it's a little kid's book. Oh my gosh, what an awful story. <laughs> my goodness, the things we read as children. <laughs> but look at how cute. Oh, look at this. That oh is my so gosh, perfect. look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. So cute. Oh my goodness. Wow, it looks so it. cute. I love reborns with mittens. They just look so adorable. Yeah. She That's has, what I love about cuddle babies. Her hands are um are, are um little fists, so she's like cold, so, so and she's, she's newborn. Cold. Newborns always wear mittens anyway, so as they're scratching up their face <laughs> trying to look like um Jason. <laughs> Freddy Cougar, I don't know. They're always man. Newborns can really tear their face up with nails. Doesn't it blow your guys' mind as moms? Like the damage that looks really cute. The damage a newborn can do with their nails, it's insane. I didn't believe it until I saw it firsthand. I was like, wow, wow. Your little nails are like razor blades. Oh my gosh, how cute. She's looking so cute. Look at her. So what are you guys up to? We, um, today was a different day. So we did some, like, we went to just, um, like downtown to see what, we just drove downtown, right? Because we don't ever go down there. And we saw shops at interest that caught our attention. We just, like, parked and walked the little strip. <laughs> and went to different stores there. It was quite interesting. Interesting. Downtown is a bit different. I have to say. Um, so it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So we went to a couple different stores. And um, just did something totally different. <laughs> that was different. She looks so cute. She looks really cute. And then um, on Sunday. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Sunday we are... I purchased um, tickets to the zoo for Sunday, and we're doing like the, it's called the adult, what is it, it's called the adult, um, <laughs> I think it's called like, it's basically, you I get, I don't even know what it's called, it's called like, um, so you, it's a special ticket, you pay a little bit more, 
And you get to feed the giraffe. Giraffes, I think one giraffe. You get to feed, feed a giraffe. And you get to go to, they have a stingray area, this special area. And then they have like a Rexasaurus thing. But um, it's when you like actually add the ticket, you'll see it. And so it's really cool. So I got that for Jackie and I to do um, on Easter since we have definitely a very different, uh, you know, an Easter no parents ever want to have kind of Easter for us going this year. So we are going to do something that's going to totally distract us. And at 9 o'clock, we're going to go to the zoo. It's like the full experience, like the adult full experience, I think it's what it's called. And then, I'm like having a hard time. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find. I think you actually have to add it like you're buying it. But you get my drift, right? It's going to be um, kind of fun. So I wasn't to go to the zoo. Taylor, do you mean you want to go to the zoo? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Heather, you're working. I fed it. You fed a draft. I have not fed a draft before. Tambry has. You know, we let her feed the giraffe, so we've uh, not... It's called Total Experience. Total Experience Adult, so yeah. Um, we've never personally fed giraffes. Have you fed a giraffe? No. Yeah. If I did, <laughs> I was a kid, and I don't remember. But the last time anyone fed a giraffe, it was Tambry at the Oakland Zoo, which is a beautiful zoo. If you can ever go to the Oakland Zoo in California, I really recommend it. I do have a stroll. No, I don't have a stroller. I don't. I'm right. not sure. Because I, well, I know for sure that I don't have, like, the car seat and stroller deal. I have a car seat. I might, I might have the folding stroller part. Um, I wasn't planning on taking the dolls. But maybe we could think about it. Because I could go get the part to the stroller so I could set the, um, set the car seat on the stroller. You know that. Whatever it is. The travel <laughs> system, but it's just like a frame, and you just put the car seat on it. So, yeah. We're excited, though. I've been wanting to go to the zoo for a long time, and I was just like, dang, that holidays this weekend, man. That If you know, you know. If you're awake, you know it's a major human traffic thing, and it's huge for the satanic elites. It's a huge sacrificial a holiday. Ugh, it's just awful. Anyways, you can go down the rabbit hole for that for a little more details. But yeah, so it's coming up and I was just like, we need to do something. We need to get out of the house and do something. That's what we're doing. Your daughter's cooking. How fun. Every now and then I am looking on here. You rode an elephant when you were little, Donna? Now that is an experience. Oh, I'll tell you what. <coughs> um... They do have like this one day pass. It's a uh, 90 bucks. So I was like, okay, maybe next time. But um, where you get to like actually touch some animals, like pet some of them. So it's a different, oh no, yeah. You get to be there when the zoo opens and see how they open everything for the zoo and get the animals prepared and all that stuff. So it's like pretty cool. Then there's another, there's other experiences where you can touch the animals. So, that's just, I didn't know there was so many options, actually. I really just thought there was, like, a ticket and maybe a couple different things. But <laughs> I swear I don't remember seeing that the last time I, maybe I didn't buy my tickets online. Maybe we bought them in person. But, yeah, I've never been to the St. Louis Zoo. I'm just going to put it out there. I've never been to a zoo out of California. <laughs> yeah, no, my dolls are not scams. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gotta love trolls. I love it. Trolls are just lost fans. Their <laughs> souls are just lost. They were once fans and then they became haters because they couldn't be my best friend. It's okay, guys. I'm one person, though, man. We're all family. We hang out here and there. Some people get a little closer than others. That's how real families work. You're closer to some cousins than you are others. Hey, that we're a traditional family. Boop. <laughs> That's right. We even got the haters. <laughs> <Fudge>. <laughs> oh, 
Man, I tried to get those out of my family. <laughs> no matter what you do, you can't take the haters away. <laughs> can't. You uh, typically we would say in my family, you can take. You know, we're just not going to say it. Somebody might take offense to it, and I don't want to cause any offense at all. But you get what I'm saying. We're just a real family. That's what it is. Either enjoy it or get the hell out. <laughs> Ain't nobody holding you here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, Karen or Richard, because nobody going to care. <laughs> Live your life. Live your life. Live your life. Get out of mine. <laughs> Seriously. It's like, oh, my goodness. Anyways, you guys are a hoot. I love you all. Really do. I even love those little haters. Because <laughs> I don't want no negative vibes in my life. You ain't going to get no hate from me. Nothing but love. Kill him with kindness. Kill him with kindness. But still, don't let that door hit you on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends. We had a blast. Bop, bop, bop. Carly's going to say goodbye. We'll be back later. All right. Not later today, but hopefully tomorrow. Because we're going to do some yard work here tonight. I am. <laughs> so if I'm not too sore tomorrow, <laughs> they're like all in the bed like, I shouldn't use the weed eater that long. Oh my gosh, it's killing me. <laughs> I'm not 20 anymore. <laughs> I'm closer to 40. My body hurts. True story, real life. <laughs> Anyways, guys, see you all soon. Stay positive. Don't give it a negative energy. Don't give into it. Don't. Because that's, that's you losing that battle. Stay positive. Everything always is going to get better. And it gets better with a positive attitude. Love you all. Bye. Bye.